Hello Scorpio, I hope you're all doing well in today's reading with looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Um, this is one of the worst readings so far. I think I'm on the seventh sign, but let's work through this together. Um, who this person is, so could be a Leo, a strong Cancer here. We have Leo here twice, Cancer here twice, and Scorpio, Pisces. Um, that, that's the most prominent signs in Libra. It doesn't have to be their sign, but let's look at the energy they're in right now. Um, I'm seeing someone who's very emotional right now. It could be um, they're traveling right now, but strong ego um, with this person as well. Um, they're very self-focused um, on their needs, their wants, and what it, whatever it is they're doing in their life. It could be that um, they're taking a break from you or you're not on speaking terms. I was getting that in the um, current compatibility sector, but yeah, that's just someone who's doing their own thing, perhaps going out with other people, the lover. It can be a third-party situation. It doesn't have to be, but... Yeah, that they're they're okay and doing their own thing is what I'm getting in their energy. But someone who's very much in control um, of this of their situation and um, their emotions. For your physical compatibility, we have fifth house, passion, Chiron, healing, ace of wands, empress. Um, probably the best combination I've gotten so far in all the readings for physical compatibility. But that's almost the only thing that is going for this connection. Um, there is ability if you were to be intimate with each other. Perhaps there's some healing that needs to be done. Um, some wounds that um, need to be addressed. And perhaps there is some sort of comfort um, you two bring to one another. Um, especially in regards to your childhood. Um, very nurturing energy um but there's a strong strong desire this person has for you uh, very physically attracted to you with an empress is venus and ace of wands is sex so and fifth house is sex and passion as well so yes a strong desire for you there's a this is uh, off the charts in regards to sexual chemistry between you both it doesn't get better than this combination but let's look at who this person is intellectually. We have Five of Cups, The Fool. I'm instantly getting someone who um, sometimes makes hasty decisions and then regrets them later. Uh, literal foolish behavior. Um, they jump into things and then uh, I don't think there's much thought into it and then they end up hurting themselves and others. That's almost the energy I'm getting from them. Very careless um, for how they're they are intellectually i don't like this i don't like this person's energy at all and for cross watchers you can switch the roles because heavy but for your intellectual compatibility we have eight house seven of cups queen of wands page of swords um two people that are on diff two different um wavelengths um a very i'm getting this person is the page of swords where you're represented by the queen of wands so intellectually they could be inferior to you in some way um, but a lot of confusion in the way this person interacts with you very manipulative with that eight house scorpio influence um, they manipulate in a way where they know what the right thing is to say and do very charming but they intentionally um, hide certain things um, so they're well aware of what they're doing this is not someone who's oblivious to their toxic behavior i have to be quite blunt uh, here because i'm getting a straightforward message here um, i almost didn't even lay out the other cards because your tarot cards were coming or speaking to me very strongly but also with the page of swords that's someone who's uh, quite suspicious of the other so there's a lack of trust here as well in this situation um, 
always one person is keeping an eye on the other because they don't know what they're doing behind their back so that sort of energy but eighth house can also talk about power struggles and competition um but i do want to address your um astrological cards here with mars square neptune we have trickery deception vague mistrust too logical and rigid yes um for this person's emotional sector we have them represented here by king of swords and three of pentacles and misunderstandings so again this confirms what is coming out here with the um tarot cards because i don't think you're seeing this person clearly or you have and initially when you were getting to know them they were um, a very deceptive energy intentionally hiding things um for their emotions we have king of swords three of pentacles so someone who's very logical uh very cut off from their emotions Th what this person is very uh, it's a contradiction here because their overall energy who they are we had king of cups chariot um but in their emotional who they are emotionally we have king of swords three of pentacles so is this person putting on a show with leo leo likes to perform They're very deceptive i don't know what is going on this person has two faces but they're really cut off from their emotions and very practical let's i don't want to get so negative this this can also talk about someone who's very practical if it doesn't make sense to them logically they don't want to let that situation in emotionally perhaps because of the chiron healing there's some past um issues that they haven't resolved and hence they blocked off their heart that is a possibility for your emotional compatibility we have second house assets saturn wisdom four of cups two of pentacles wheel of fortune there's a lot of blockages here with saturn saturn always comes with lessons it restricts and in emotions i think one other sign had this but saturn rules our 10th house in capricorn uh, capricorn moon and capricorn isn't comfortable there um i have moon and capricorn so i know this energy very well um because moon likes to express it likes to flow saturn is a bit of a um a wet blanket for the for the moon so it's there's, this isn't uh, flowing naturally. This could be unrequited love here with the Four of Cups as well. But I'm sensing more up and down. I love hate kind of um, vibe here. Um, but there's a strong sense of I want to own. Uh, this person's very possessive as a person. They may try to hide this though with that King of Cups. The King of Cups can be a bit stoic, doesn't like to express much. The second house is a I own, I have that kind of energy. Um, it's not that the second house is negative in itself, but I'm pairing. If we look at the surrounding cards in Saturn, that's what's leading me to think that I have to focus on the more negative aspect of that placement. Um, for your current energy, we have Justice, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Five of Swords. So it's almost as if, if this was a third party, one person has walked away because they want to do the right thing. Um, they're, they're someone of high integrity and uh, they don't want to entertain this low vibrational energy a very straightforward message um, someone does not want to partake in this petty mind game so whatever this is and usually this is a manipulation in one way or the other but five of pentacles two of swords there's blocked communication but also two of swords is a blocked heart space very negative scorpio i'm so sorry but like most of you um you already know this and this should confirm what you're feeling because scorpios are one of the most intuitive signs so you know what's up for sure um for your long-term potential we have emperor in reverse five of wands ace of swords three of swords jupiter and moon Emperor in reverse is 
abusive behavior, but it can also talk about lack of control. Bottom of the tarot, we had Ten of Swords, so there isn't much long-term potential here. Um, if this is resonating so far, there's a lot of pain and heartache involved, and it could be that there's more than one person in this situation. We had three of cups, seven of cups, five of wands, five of swords, that's multiple people. Um, very complicated situation, but I think you will gain that clarity. If you haven't right now, eventually you, I'm seeing right now, like, the energy is such that you have realized this but there can be friendship here but i don't know there's if there's a, there's a lot of emotions involved so i don't know how possible it will be for you to remain on friendly terms especially if this person has treated you or deceived you in the past we also have venus square uranus so this talks about love at first sight, on, on again, off again, relationship, lack of commitment, erratic. Um, so it's um, very unpredictable energy coming from um, this connection or this person. Um, they, they're the emperor in reverse, so they're not there when you need them to be. You are the empress upright. They're showing up as reverse i don't do reversals but this flipped over so um i can't um overlook that i had to keep him in reverse because it was confirming everything else i was getting this person has a very strong ego and there will be strong power struggles if you continue on um, this route really and for your advice from your guides we had trust your intuition so it says follow your heart it's the best guidance you will receive Feelings of butterflies, unease, or random thoughts are often signs. Don't ignore them. Yeah, I think this should only confirm what you already know. Um, so yes, pay attention to how you feel when you think about this person or when you're around them, if you are. I don't think you are, but listen to your inner wisdom, Scorpio. Um, but that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself. And I will see you later. Bye.